a small electronics project. This is the way I built my uh, Arduino relay shields. Um, these relay shields consist out of uh, five components, actually. The relay itself, the flyback diode for the relay, an end channel MOSFET, in this case, or in most cases, a, a small one, a 2N7000, a gate pull-down resistor, and just for safety measures, I think you don't need it, a 220 ohm uh, gate resistor. Optionally, most of the time I add an extra control LED with uh, the matching resistor. So the 5 volts coming from the Arduino or any other microcontroller, it could also be 3.3 volts. Uh, switching the MOSFET, which is turning on the relay, and at the switching or output stage of the relay, I can switch whatever appliance I want to either a 12 volt motor or lamp or whatever or a 220 volt circuit. So here are all the required components. Relay, in this case it's a 5 volt relay, 5 volt DC. The flyback diode, it's in uh, 1N4003. The MOSFET, you could also use uh, some other small uh, transistors like a BC547, but I prefer to use a MOSFET. Here is the, the yeah. Here is the data sheet, 200 milliamps, 60 volts. And the pull down, 10k pull down to um, properly switch off the field effect transistor, that's very important. Here are the 220 ohm. Here is the uh, resistor for the LED, which is obviously not necessary for the circuit but nice to have and here is the control LED. That's all you need for your uh, relay shield and let's get started to build it. So here is my breadboard with the relay already on there because it's a little bit tricky to put it on. I had to bend one lead over Yeah, next comes the MOSFET, 2N7000. Let's put it here. Next comes the uh, flyback diode for the relay. So the uh, flyback voltage of the relay does not kill the transistor. Here, in reverse polarity, of course. The plus pole of the relay goes directly to plus 5 volt in this case. Because I'm using most of the time 5 volt relays, you could also use. Um, 12 volt or a 24 volt relay. Uh, yeah, it depends on what is in your project needed. The source of the transistor goes to ground. And number one of the transistor is the source goes to ground. The drain of the transistor uh, goes to the 
coil of the relay. Okay. Next comes the gate. The gate needs a pull down, the 10k pull down resistor. So directly from gate to minus or ground is the 10k. And we need our 220 ohm gate resistor. Just so if the transistor blows up, it doesn't kill your Arduino or any other microcontroller. It's just for safety. Let's bring it out to here. So here is where your signal from controller is coming in. Okay, and last but not least, we need our resistor for the LED. In this case, it's a 1K resistor. You could also go lower if you want to. Okay, and the LED. Ordinary green LED. Plus, minus. And here is where your signal, your 5 or 3.3 volt is coming in. That's all you need. Okay, so what I have done here, I've added a header pin so I can uh, put my signal, my 5 volt signal to this header. And I already hooked it up to my power supply, 5 volt, and let's see what happens. Okay, here is the control LED, and maybe you can hear the relay clicking. So, uh, the next step is to build the real thing. So the breadboard is showing us that the circuit is in principle working. And here is the finished product. I built it beforehand, of course. Uh, here is again my 5 volt relay. Uh, it's rated for 7 amps at 240 volt AC or 10 amps at 28 volt. DC. I think that's good enough for most applications. Of course you could switch again another bigger relay with this relay. Okay, here is the flyback diode, transistor, these three resistors we need, an LED which we don't need but good to have, and here I have added the header pins, plus, minus, and the signal. As I said, I use a 5 volt relay, so I supply 5 volt to this relay shield. If I would use a 12 volt relay, of course I had to supply 12 volt to the shield. Here's the back side. You see I removed all the copper which is not necessary so I have a good electrical separation between uh, this the switching side and the control side of the circuit that's very important because you don't want to uh, get electrocuted uh, when using it and or when you touch your Arduino Okay, I think it's time to build a actual circuit and try it out. Here is my test setup. As a uh, control signal source, I use in this case a Arduino 
Komini. Uh, please ignore these six cables here because these cables are just for programming the chip. They are not necessary for the function of the circuit. Here I have my incoming power supply, 5 volt. And here I have the um, GPIO number 2 used to control the um, relay shield. I've uh, put a little blank program onto the controller so we can test the setup. What I'm going to do is I hook up the microcontroller to my relay shield here and I will provide power to the system through my um, 5 volt phone charger here. That's just for convenience because the Arduino needs 5 volt and the relay shield also needs 5 volt so it makes sense to do it that way. So here I have connected everything together just for demonstration purposes. That's why I don't use the protective earth at the moment. Here is my main lead coming from the power outlet. So these wires are hot now, 240 volt AC. Here I have a shaded pole motor. Uh, I think it's a, a fan of a microwave oven, 240 watt. Here is my relay, which uh, is hooked in line with the hot wire of the mains AC. Here is the signal wire as well as the uh, plus and minus um, power supply for the relay. Here is the Arduino itself, the Pro Mini. Here I have my power supply for the Pro Mini and the relay USB. So just a phone charger. Of course you could also power the Arduino separately from the relay. So um, just for instance you have a 12 volt relay you have to power the Arduino from 5 volt and the uh, relay from 12 volt. Just for convenience I do it this way so everything is 5 volt and plug it in now. Yeah. And here it is, the blink sketch. Um, switching on the relay and turns on the fan. And believe it or not, I can touch here on the low power side everything without getting a shock. Don't touch this side of the circuit. And anyways, if you're not familiar with working with um, mains voltage, don't do it. It's dangerous. It's really dangerous and can kill you. Other than that, if you build and use such a device, such a relay shield, put it in a plastic box so that nobody can touch these hot wires. Yeah. That's it. That's how I make my relay sheets. Of course, I'm using it also for DC. For instance, I put two of them together to form an H bridge to drive a DC motor backwards and forwards or some other stuff. Sometimes I hook up a to the small relay to switch even um, bigger loads, for instance a uh, three-phase motor or something. Okay guys, so if you found this video somehow useful for you, give it a like, thumbs up or leave me a comment, let me know 
if you like such electronic videos. And that's all for now.